in this video I want to explain uh, basically two formulas or three formulas. So let me first write the formulas and then we will prove it uh, in a very simple manner. So one is area of a rectangle, area of a rectangle. Hopefully you know what's area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is base times height. Okay. So I'll write B times H. B stands for base and H stands for height. Now area of a triangle, area of a triangle, I hope you know what's a triangle and a rectangle. Area of a triangle is, uh, is actually from the area of a rectangle. Area of a triangle is uh, base times height, base times height divided by 2. Or you can say the area of a triangle is half the area of a rectangle. That's This is something that we want to prove. And finally, area of a parallelogram. Area of a parallelogram. Parallelogram. I'll explain what is a parallelogram. A parallelogram is like a rectangle, is a distorted rectangle, is base times height. The formula is same, base times height. What's a par parallelogram? So let me draw a sketch of it. A parallelogram is a four-sided figure with two opposite sides parallel. So this and this are parallel, and this side is parallel to this side. Okay, so yeah, this you can call the base. This is the, say, the base. And say, if you drop the height, suppose this is the height. The distance between the parallel side is called height. So this is, say, the height. So we want to prove, basically, or understand how this formula works. Okay, so let's first start with a square. Okay, now this is a square of one centimeter by one centimeter. This is a square of one centimeter by one centimeter. And the space occupied in this square or the area, area, whenever you're talking about area, you're talking about the space that that shape occupies. So this uh, space is called, this is called one centimeter squared. Now, how did it get a square there? Basically, it is like this. So this is, let me show it. So the area of this square, area of that square, is base times height, which is one centimeter times one centimeter. So when someone says one centimeter squared, it is an area of a square of one centimeter. Now, how did they get the square? It's centimeter times centimeter is centimeter squared, and one times one is one. So, just to explain what I mean is this each of this square, suppose this is a square of one centimeter. This is also a square of one centimeter squared. Each of this square is of one centimeter squared. Okay, so to find the area of this triangle, without the formula. So let's count the total, the complete squares. Okay, so let's take for the complete square. So let's count the squares. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve, you've got twelve ticks. Twelve ticks means, or twelve Six is 12 centimeters squared. Okay, and let's do crosses for half the square. So this is half a square, and this is half a square. So two crosses means one centimeter squared. So this is again two crosses. This is also two crosses. And this is how many crosses do we have? So this is half a square, so two half squares make one square. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you've got eight crosses. 
it crosses is how many centimeters square? Well, that's half of that, which is four centimeters squared. Okay, so if you add them, it is 16 centimeters squared. The area of this square is 16 centimeters squared. So let's try to find the area of this rectangle. Okay, so if you make this a rectangle, so let me draw, if you draw, if you treat this as a rectangle, say this triangle is inside this rectangle. Okay, so this is the rectangle that I'm talking about. So let me name this say A, B, C, D. So what's the area of this rectangle? So let's count. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you got eight across and four, one, two, three, four. So the area of this rectangle, so you can say area of rectangle, area of the rectangle is how much? Is eight times four, you can say eight centimeter times four centimeter, which is how many centimeter, which is 32 centimeters squared. So how did I get a 32? Eight times four is 32 and centimeter times centimeter is centimeter squared. So can you see this triangle is half the area of the rectangle. So any triangle can be a, uh, is a part of a rectangle. So that's why this formula comes, that area of a triangle is base times height, which is area of a rectangle divided by two. Okay, so let me delete this whole thing. So now what if you have a parallelogram? So let me make up a parallelogram. Okay. So let me make up a parallelogram. So let me make this a bit smaller and uh, drag this. Okay. So this is a, a parallelogram. So let me, I've already got a side sitting here. So we're talking about this parallelogram. So this is a parallelogram. Hopefully you can see it. A parallelogram, so you've got, I don't want this. So. Okay, so, so this is a parallelogram. We're talking about this parallelogram. So what's the area of this? So let me call this a PQRS. This is PQRS. Okay, so let's count the squares. Each square is one centimeter squared. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16. Now this two makes one square. I hope you can see this. If you take this, this is one square. And this is a part of it. This two also makes up one square. Okay, this will also make up one square. And this will also make up one square. So how many squares do you have? You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So area of this parallelogram is 20 centimeter squared. Now let's count the base. How much is the base? The base is how many centimeters? You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 centimeters. And how much is the height? So this is the height I'm talking about. This is the height. You've got how many heights in the, uh, how many squares in the height? You've got one, two, three, four centimeters in the height. So the area is base times height. Is base times height, which is five centimeters times four centimeters. 
which is 20 centimeter squared so basically you got only one formula area of a rectangle if you know area of a rectangle you can find the area of a triangle area of a triangle is area of a rectangle divided by two or half the area of a rectangle gives you area of a triangle and area of a parallelogram is base whatever base you have times it by the height and always remember to write the right unit for area if it's in centimeters it will be centimeter squared if it's in meters it will be meter squared and so on